Hi everybody, welcome back to Holly Harvest Farm. So, let's give you an animal update because, well, we're looking pretty good. Let's go over, we're gonna take a look at honey, we're gonna take a look at Poncho's feet, we'll go up and take a look at some of the things we've done with the goats and the, the pigs, and this will just be a, another animal update because we've had some things going on. So, let's go take a look. All right, so we're out here with honey. Honey, you're doing great, right? Besides the fact you're all dirty. But other than that, his feet, the abscess in his foot is a whole lot better. He's walking around perfectly fine now. We have not had to do any wrapping or anything like that on it, no soaking. He's getting around great. So, honey, honey, you doing good, bud? Yeah? All right, let's go check on Poncho and go see how he's doing. All right, so, Poncho, buddy, how's your foot? Nah, we're, we're good. Poncho's foot is doing much better. He's walking around much better. The abscess seems to have gone away. It seems everything that is healed up. Uh, we are not doing any soaking on his foot anymore, as you saw from like one of the last videos. And he's getting around here awesome. We haven't had any issues as far as him um, walking around lame or anything like that. Poncho is doing great. So is Marley and Dash. Everybody's out here doing really well. So we're going to go give a little update on the pig and goat area, talk a little bit about them, and then uh, we're going to show you inside the garage because I made some updates to the garage. So let's go. Goaty goats. What are you doing, goats? All right, so all the goats out here, they're doing well. But they've been, oh, they have been eating a bunch of <laughs> corn cobs and pumpkin shells and all sorts of stuff. But the big thing on them is we've got electric for them out here to their their watering uh, dish. So that way they won't have any frozen watering lines. We also ran electric out here for uh, pole lights. So we've got that for them and also for the pigs. Let's go over here and talk about the pigs. Okay, because we've got a pig. If you've seen us on Facebook, uh, then you've heard about our one pig, Norm. Where are you, Norman? That's the big boy over here. Oh, my piggies. Oh, my piggies. No. I know. Big Norm over there. Big Norm. Now, Big Norm has been escaping out of his pen into hang out with the goats. So we had to do some, some extra uh, supports inside of his pen to try to keep him in his pen. As you can see, let me get a little closer. No, you got you are staying in. Okay. They got all sorts of straw delivered the other day out here. But we had to put in some supports inside the goat area so that way Norm can't push the fence. He was pushing the fence and breaking his way in with the goats. So we've had to do that. We did some supports inside of their house so that way he can't get through there. So big boy Norm over here. Hey right, Norman. Yeah, causing all sorts of problems, right, bud? Right. So, I didn't bring out food yet. It's not time to eat yet. They're mad at me. Right. Let's go take a look at the holly before we go into the garage. Try that again. So, we are an active holly farm. And, as you can see, the holly is looking great this year. This is a yellow-berried holly, which has yellow berries. It looks very different than the other ones that we have. The other ones have all red berries, but this one is our yellow berry holly and they look great. Our other hollies also are looking really, really well. Um, I'm working on cleaning up a couple more still, but the berries are ridiculous this year, which hopefully that's a, a sign of taking good care of them because these were super overgrown last year. Uh, I cleared out underneath of them all so we can get through. They did look like this, which is one that I'm working on still. Or this one over here, which is another one that I'm working on. The vines up at the top of these trees are ridiculous. I've had them hooked to the tractor, all sorts of things to pull them down. But our goal is to make them go from this to look like that. So we've been uh, selling holly. We've been doing all sorts of things with the holly this year. And they are smiling, these trees are. They look great. Probably the best that we've ever seen them. Now, granted, we've only been here for a couple of years. But honestly, these are bright red berries, bright yellow berries. The leaves look excellent. The trees look healthy. So yeah, it's a great season around here for us. And the trees are really 
smiling on us. So let's go in the garage. I'll show you what I did in there and then that'll be it. So let's go. All right. So we're out here in the garage. We did a bunch to the garage. So in here, we were losing air going up. It was getting cold in here. Uh, we were going to use this for having parties and things like that over the garage. is a nice large space. And so we didn't want to lose all the heat. We also didn't really want to hang drywall. Hanging giant sheets of drywall just was not going to work out for me. So what we did was we put up one inch foam insulation. And then I put the privacy lattice on top of it. So it completely transformed the garage. We also redid the electric in here so that the lights are coming on a whole lot better. Uh, they were, there wasn't a whole lot of electric to speak of out here in the garage. So we've done that. We put in new switches. We put in new outside lights on the outside of the house for the, the garage and into the driveway. And honestly, we've just improved the entire space in here. So what was, I'll put in some before pictures. And as you can see, the garage was just exposed studs, exposed rafters, wires hanging down and all that. This new look in here changes the entire look of the garage, the entire feel of the garage. It makes it where we're able to be out here and work and get things done and not feel like, uh, we got to go work in the garage. So we're really excited for how it turned out. And honestly, it's just been a whole lot of work around here. So yeah. I apologize if I haven't had a video out in a little while, but it's been a lot. So thanks for joining us here on Holly Harvest Farm, and we will see you next time. Bye.